Yo Internet, I am Calvin, and this is Space Engineers, a new series I'm starting where I review the top five uh, workshop creations of the week, and they may not be the top five of, like, uh, rating-wise, but they're the top five, in, in my opinion, like, what I think is really cool, and um, I'm gonna just, you know, see how this goes, and if you guys like this series, then I'll continue it, if not, I won't, whatever, but the first one I'm gonna start off with is this uh, pod racing one of, like, it's uh, from Star Wars, and the way they did it, like, one downside to it, I have to say, is with my setup, it is extremely laggy. I'm going at 10 frames right now. There's a lot of stuff to render. Um, most of the stuff off in the distance is not rendering just because of how big it is. Um, but the way they did this, which, um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate 100% because of the lag, but the way they did this was they have, honestly, I'm not sure how they did this. It's very impressive, but there's a way they have it like hovering and the way they have it hovering is very very cool because like it has it's like uh it's hooked up to like there's somehow it's just floating above the ground and it's not like being a it can't go up it can't fly up um but it also can't like like so if i hit y um <laughs> i sort of float away but no if i hit like so let's see if i go c yeah, this thing's got some weird magnetic thing going on. Um, my idea, I'm just going to take a look at it real fast. Uh, oh, shh. What the f... Okay, I figured out what it was. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what are these? This is... What is this? Let's hit G. Go to this. And this is a this is a wheel. A very strange wheel. Um, but the way they made it look, it looks really cool, but the way they have it is it was a reverse gravity thing, and it has, a uh, artificial mass on it. It's really clever. There's a shit ton more, and I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate all of them because of the lag and because of how many there actually are. But, um, by the way, there's gonna be links for all of the ones I show, uh, in the description below. Um, uh, most of these, they look, like, they're generally the same, you know, they're the pod racing, uh, model. But they're all very unique, and it's really, really impressive how this guy did this. Or girl, I'm not quite sure. Um... But yeah, it's like, it's really cool. Uh, the, the lag is unfortunate, but it's just, it's so impressive. It, there's, it's a massive world. It looks like it's made out of full iron, um, you know, to kind of simulate, 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 simulate the desert. And um, you even have a, like, a, without even uh, knowing this, I just realized they have a pod racing course going over here um, because I, the lag is preventing me from loading all of this. But before my computer blows up, I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, now these are in no particular order, uh, cause I think this one's honestly the best one, but, like, of content wise, but the lag kinda kills it, just a little bit. So if you have a really powerful rig, more power to you, that's, you're gonna like this, if you're a big Star Wars fan. I think it's really cool. You got stands, you got, uh, whatever this thing is, it looks like a little, uh, like, watchtower type thing for the, uh, people, like, for the, I don't know, the Emperor, fucking, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen Star Wars in a long, long time. And, um... That was a weird noise I heard outside. Oh, that was really creepy. That was really creepy. What the fuck was that? Uh, oh, wow. This is... It's a lot less like in here, obviously, but it's really cool. Um, it's just very... Uh, yeah, very in-depth. And, um, well, except for this. This just kind of goes up to nowhere. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So I'll move on to the next one. Um, if you like this one, there's a link in the description. And... Uh, yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is, this is up your alley. This is awesome. I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan, but I love I like I like Star Wars, and this looks this is just sick. It's so cool. Um, yeah. All right. So moving on. Okay. Next in our list is the FA-37 Starfighter. Now this has um its main this is number one on the uh, on the uh, workshop at the moment of the week, and I I think it looks pretty cool, honestly. So you got... I'm going to demonstrate these ships, but first I'm just going to kind of, like, like, overlook them. Or, yeah, I'm going to overlook all of them. Now I'm going to look over them, and um, this is the main one right here that they show in the thumbnail. You have uh, Runway going on, which I think is really cool looking. It's kind of like a Tron without the glow, you know, the shape-wise. Um, what I think is really cool is how they did this, the whole wheel thing that you can color. It looks like you can make the very cool, like, cylindrical, like, just barrel things or, like how they do with the pod racers, the, um, the little electrical, uh, like, what would be the little lightning in between it. But you have a, looks like another one. It looks like these are all basically the same model, but, um, with, I think, slightly different colors on it. Yeah, there's a little bit, or maybe they're just off. 
But um, you have warheads over here. You have a control tower with um, an antenna, and there's we have pirate ship. Oh, there's pirate ships over there. We'll go check that out too, because that is not in the thing. I guess I don't know. But um, so we got this little like lighthouse tower thing going on here. We got let's uh let's turn our lights on in here. And we got just like a little room. Looks like a little um like a bench bunker. Uh, you know, just like a place to rest. Because uh, it's kind of like a, this is a space station that's just kind of exposed in the sense, more of like a aircraft carrier. Now let's fly the ship over there to the pirate thingy, the pirate ship. Alright, so, uh, real quick, I just noticed this, this thing's got some, uh, new rocket launchers on here. It's got some cool exhaust, uh, ports for the stuff, uh, you can, for the, like, the stuff you collect, if you have any. Uh, also charging for batteries and all that. Um, it looks, like, honestly, I think it looks really cool. Let's give this bad boy a try. We got the, uh, I forget what they, which one they use in the, uh, in the real life with jets and stuff. Which one's the pilot and which one's, like, the other dude. I'm thinking this one's the pilot. But turn our, our engines on. Holy shit, that is cool. Alright, I did not know that happened. That, this just moved up to, like, my number one spot as of right now. Holy crap. That is, this is, this is why it's number one in the Nexus. Hold on. Alright, so, like, it... That oh god that was so cool. Oh my god that was so cool. That was I don't even know how to react to that. That was that was majestic as fuck. We got a power overload on it though, but um since we're in creative I think uh, it will not matter. I hope not. This thing is really fucking cool though. Holy shit! Like, pff, damn. Like, like, seriously, I did not expect that. That's some transformer level shit right there. That is really cool. And it's simple rotors, um, that I'm guessing have, you know, they were, I'm not sure how they forced, you forced them, I'm guessing, into a position and, uh, set them to another position while it was off and, uh, it just, uh, you know, stayed there. And these pirate ships, I don't know what they are, but they look like, if I can see from this area, it looks like the blue default ship, um, from the, okay, crap, there's... Drift it like a boss. Yeah, it's, it looks like the basic, uh, the basic thing. You know, I'm guessing. Okay, this is what it is. I just realized this. I'm. I didn't read the description, but um, these pirate ships are used as targets for like this. You have a starfighter. You want to you know take out the pirates and stuff, which actually look pretty cool. But they're just the the generic uh, uh, model, and it looks like they've been slightly modified. But there's not much to it from what I can see. This is all pretty much empty except for the power and stuff but got your nice passenger seats there and uh this this is just is like those that ship is really cool how this thing just like transformed honestly i think that's just like i can't even get over it it's just that was cool that was really cool now i'll move on to the next one in our list okay this is uh number three in our list remember not in any particular order but this is the space station now this thing's got some pretty cool moving parts that look pretty cool. I just like, I can't even, I just, I don't know. It's just so cool. <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless for it. I love the moving parts, no matter how simplistic they really are in the fact of doing it. I am always impressed by it. It's just so cool. Um, but this, uh, this thing was made in the description. It says it is made, uh, for people to like, you can add on to it without any problems. Uh, it's made just, just like, you know, be built upon. Uh, you have, holy crap, that, this thing is really cool. This looks like the International Space Station. Um, I think that's what they were going for, and they looks like they nailed it. Like, really nailed it. So you got your big red ship as well. It looks like it's hooked up to the uh, to this little entrance way up here. Let's head inside. That looks, that is really cool. This is, that, I think this is just the bee's knees, you know? It's the bee's knees. So you got uh, whatever this is. Uh, looks like just lights, uh, which, you know, it's cool. Uh, it looks like you can go up here, and I think this is just an exit out of here. I'm just guessing. And we got six Gs of gravity, so this is this is pretty uh, heavy duty for some reason. I don't know why there's uh, why there's so much gravity. Oh wait, holy crap! Okay, maybe that's that's why. So you can, yeah, that's cool because it's changes. It allows you to. For example, in the actual space station, since there's no artificial gravity that exists um, in real life, there's 
Like, this allows you to walk on the walls and change your perspective, which I think is really cool. These all have, like, really awesome features to them that, you know, just make it. Like, look at that. That's just the coolest thing. And <laughs> I don't... I don't even... I couldn't make this... Well, I could probably make this, but... Um, here we have the... Uh, these look like little out spouts. Out spouts? Um, that just, like, connect to stuff you can uh, throw on there. But they just... They're conveyors. Or they're... Yeah, they're... They're tubes, whatever they're called. Um, but they... You know, you have to hook up to a little... Uh, what's it called? A little uh, connector, collector uh, to it. Um, here we have the control panel, which we'll check into this. Um, so if, if we could just... Sort of, I just want to test this out. Um, since we're not going to be saving this. Um, this is fucking huge. If we turn this thing into a ship, we could have... If, if they said orbits in this game, that would be sick. We could have this orbit, like, a, uh, turn into a ship and orbit a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Let's convert to ship. Look at that. That is friggin' sweet. <laughs> That's so cool. We got jets going on down there. So I think this thing was made to be a ship, in a sense. Like, even though it's a space station, but, you know, whatever. I don't know why it's spinning like this. This is kind of weird. But, um, <laughs> let's hit X. Yeah, so we'll move on to the next one. Um, this is just, this is, the gravity's really trippy. Let's jump off here and see what happens. Ah! Ah! Okay, this is our fourth one called the uh, Artificial Terrain Orbital Plate. And it showed a ship in the thumbnail, but from what I see when I spawned, I see just a literal terrain uh, plate. <laughs> I'm not sure what the orbital part would be about. Um, this is very, I don't know what that is. Now, what, is this just, holy crap. I don't know if this is just a glitch or what, but this is very strange. Um, looks like there's a rescue ship there. Um, I, okay, now it's starting to load in. I should probably, like, get a better computer. <laughs> this is why I need you guys to donate to Patreon, because that would be freaking sweet, and I could, you know, not have this terrible like lag and rendering issues but i don't know what this one was about this one was uh highly rated um it was like second best uh i don't know what it is though because i don't read descriptions because you know yolo no um because this is this is misleading in a sense i don't say, I want to say it's misleading because i did it's true i did not read it um but we're gonna look around and see what we can find and maybe i'm wrong hopefully i'm wrong and I, we can find something because that would be stupid otherwise to just not do that probably be smarter to freaking read it but you know it's like 10 o'clock and i'm just like not in that i pulled an all-nighter last night because i have insomnia very bad insomnia so i've gotten four hours of sleep and i keep like overheating really randomly like right now because when I, I get like that when i uh have really bad lack of sleep so i'm not super competent right now like <laughs> i just checked if i was recording because i'm there's a good chance I probably wasn't, but no, I am. Um, this is a cool-looking asteroid. This is really cool. I like it. It's like all spiky. <laughs> There's like a cross right there. All right, so the, the inertia dampeners are being very stupid. I'm guessing it's just due to the lag in this sense, but, um, yeah. Let's see here. Okay, there might be something over there. Let's go look at that while we're looking back here, just taking a glance at all this stuff, making sure we're not missing anything. Uh, the guy who created this should have put beacons on something uh, if there even isn't. This looks like just a default asteroid. I'm not sure what the hell his idea with this was, but um, from what I can tell, it's just, it's just the orbital plate, and this is just like, this stuff's just here because you need ore, but... Honestly, I'm not quite sure, and I think it's kind of stupid, but I could be wrong, and I probably am, uh, because I didn't read the thing, so I apologize for that. Um, this is like a butthole, giggity. Um, there's, that's all there is to that, so that's kind of stupid. Um, this one's not, this one's at, like, the bottom of my list right now, uh, and, yeah, that's really, really kind of dumb. All right, well, let's move on to the uh, last and final one, which will probably be a pretty fun one. 
Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm not going to be doing much moving in this one as the first start, because if you can see, there's a gravity of 43 Gs, really 44 if you round up. This thing's called the Human Collider, the Large Human Collider. Basically, what it does is it's it jerks you around like fucking crazy. Check this shit. It basically orbits you around this thing. Honestly, I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm getting 5 frames per second right now. So, it's you're going to have a pretty decent computer. You could turn off um, some of the jets if that's what this is doing. Basically, this middle thing has all the uh, stuff in it. But, um, like, I'm flying around this thing. This is kind of, this is cool. Um, there's not, there's nothing else really to this. This one's just, like, uh, for fun because, you know, why not? You just spin around like crazy. Um, but look at the Gs, man. That just, holy shit. I think I saw it go up to 50 in a, like, oh, it went up to 60 in, a, like, a minute or a second ago, but, so, there's that, and, uh, that'll pretty much continue, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna log off of this real fast, because this is just gonna blow my computer to hell, <laughs> but that is, um, that's the pilot episode of my review videos, uh, for the Space Engineers Workshop, and, uh, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, if you have all awesome stuff, share with your friends, check out the Patreon down below in the description, uh, if you can donate just a dollar per episode, that would be great, there's, uh, more info in on the actual Patreon page, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.